45 brand new Forge maps coming to the MCC and how to download them as well with brand new game modes coming as well. Stay tuned throughout the video to understand the details. How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again giving you another news update here in the MCC where I could tell, like I told you guys earlier, we have some new maps coming in. Now we have a lot of them coming in so I won't be able to show them off all of them but I also get to tell you guys exactly what to expect when looking through these maps and how to download them. So if you like these kind of news information videos, please make sure to tap that like button as it lets me know you want to see some more content like this. Leave a comment down below what you thought of the video. I do read all comments and try to reply to most of them as well. And if you're new to the channel, want to update with anything Halo related, MCC, Halo 5, Halo Infinite, make sure to tap subscribe with the bell. Keep notified every time awesome happens on the channel, which is going to be every time. So let's get right into the video here. The big update recently happened on February 20th where 45 new maps were added to the MCC. Now a lot of these were just strictly just Halo 3 Forge maps, some of them. Most of them are actually in the sandbox play uh, map, but some of them are in Foundry and some of them are even in Avalanche. A uh, wide range of between BTB to 4v4s to Infection to Free For All, just like all different kinds of maps that were actually previously rotated through Halo 3's uh, matchmaking process and now brought into the MCC. So let's kind of go over how to download these maps if you want to play them. Now, all these maps were added to the social playlist, but you can see right here one of the changes was for the 2v2v2v2 playlist that the score to win in Slayer was actually increased. I'm guessing just because some of the matches were playing a little short. Uh, 1v1 Slayer on Carbon supporting the game type head to head. 4v4 playlist. Action Sack Paralysis and the Great Wall and the Cratic Method supporting the game mode uh, type Conquest. Also in 4v4 Action Sack, we have Blast Off supporting the game type Flying High. Uh, we have Big Team Battle 8v8 for Slayer and, and Flag and Bomb for Multicog supporting the game types of BTB Slayer and BTB Capture the Flag. And then we have uh, three different types of free-for-alls uh, for action sack. We have Lava Pit, or in a game type of Sacrifice. We have uh, Pond Jumping, which is supporting the, the uh, game type of Frogger. And we have uh, Action Sack for Beehive, supporting the game type B. Now these maps will certainly bring back some feels, because I do remember playing a few of these back in the day, just because I was all about playing custom games and forging maps back in the Halo 3 days. So this will definitely give me some of the good old feels when it comes to playing Halo 3. Not quite content browser level, which, you know, will be coming soon, but no date mentioned. But, uh, you know, at least we get a chance to play some more uh, of the awesome uh, Forge created uh, action sack type of game modes that really helped flourish in Halo 3 and then kind of carried on throughout Halo's legacy. Now you're probably wondering, well, Kevin, I would love to play all these 45 brand new maps and game modes right into the MCC on my custom games, but how do I download these things? There's no file browser. Technically there is, and I'm gonna show you right now how to find it. Okay guys, so here we are in the MCC. This is the first screen, obviously, when you log into the game. It looks awesome, of course. So you're probably wondering, well, how do I download maps for this? Well, they're actually gonna be tied to the 343 favorites gamer tag, and that's how you download these maps. So the way you download these is that you press the X button, takes you to the menu, you scroll down to your name, go down to find player, and then you type in the 343 favorites. Once you have it typed in, you hit go, bring it to this right here. This is the gamer tag for the 343 favorites. This is where you download the map. So you scroll down to file share right over here, and then it takes you to all the game types and map variants that are in this right here. So now uh, there are currently, if I remember correctly, actually 34 maps and 10 game modes. So Technically, we're missing one, but uh, you can see 34 maps in different game modes and 44 different types of variations. I don't know where the 45 came from, but as you can see here, you see all these different maps where you can look at, uh, you know, mostly in the sandbox uh, landscape, I guess you call map, but then also they're also in Foundry. There's also an Avalanche one, or also even a Last Resort one as well. So let's go check out. Uh, one of these maps right here. How about just say, well, I'm gonna download Ridge Slide. Sure. Download, then we click download. Sure you want to download this file? Yes. File has been successfully downloaded. Okay, so then you go back to the main menu. So they're probably like, well, how do I actually play this map in custom games or any game mode in general? So basically what you do, you go to multiplayer, go down to custom games, roll to Halo 3, 
And then once you're here, you scroll all the way over to Sandbox, which should be right here. And then you see there's Ridge Side, the map I just downloaded. Select like that. This is where you'll see all your different game mode selections right here as well. And continue on, continue on, and then you hit go. As you guys see here, I downloaded one of the racetrack maps, downloaded the racetrack game mode, and see, look at this. Playing some awesome, amazingly made racetrack map that was on the 343 favorites mode right here. And that's just pretty freaking awesome to get a chance to jump in there. This is one of my favorite things I loved doing back in the Halo 3 days was playing racetracks. And you have no idea how difficult it was to make a good racetrack in Halo 3. It was insane. No, I died. Oh, the level of difficulty it was to try to get everything perfectly smooth was just incredible. And the fact that you're able to now do this once again, that's pretty freaking awesome. So hands off to 343 to finally add in this into the game. You know, it's one step closer to give you the custom game awesome feel that we all used to have back in the Halo 3, Halo 2, and even CE days, I'm sure, as well. And so, uh, yeah, just super excited that these maps have been added into the game and just cannot wait to see what's coming next for the MCC. So if you guys want to stay up to date with anything that's coming to the MCC, make sure to tap subscribe so you can know whenever anything awesome happens in the channel or anything in the MCC. So looking forward to that, guys. Also, I want to give a big shout out to two people in particular who actually helped support the channel through Patreon. If you guys don't know, I do have a Patreon page linked in the description down below. It's totally optional, but if you guys want to support the channel, help keep the wheels turning on this whole program here. Uh, that's a great way to help support the channel here. Uh, so we have two people. We have Beef Curtains, if that's how you pronounce your name right, and Turbulation. Thank you very much for your donations and your generous uh, support to the channel. Uh, you know, it's super helpful, and I really do appreciate guys' effort. Well, guys, that about does it for the update here on MVC. A ton of new Forge maps added in. They're also in matchmaking as well. Some new game modes on top of that. So if you guys can download again, uh, follow the steps I showed you in the video to be able to download the game modes and game types here. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this kind of video and want to see more like it, make sure to tap that like button. Let me know if you want to see some more content like this. Leave a comment down below what you guys were looking for for the uh, Forge uh, content being added to MCC. Or if you guys enjoyed our selection as well. Or if you have any good memories on any of these maps, you know, I do read all the comments and try to reply to most of them as well. And if you're new to the channel, want to stay up to date with anything Halo related, make sure to tap subscribe. And if you missed any content from me recently, make sure to check out the videos on the screen right now. I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace out.